Hi, and welcome to another day, another segment of KISS, that is Keep It Simple, Sir. Keep It Simple, Señorita, Señora, Sister, Saints of God. Keeping it simple today. We have another great production coming to you today with a very, very, very special guest right from our community. Amen. And she's a Christian author. Praise God. And we're going to share with you today something about her book, the Lord bless her and touch her heart to write. And let her introduce herself at this time. Her name is Evangelist Trina Brown in her own way. She introduced herself today. Welcome to her show. Welcome. Thank you. Again, my name is Trina Brown, um, and I am the author of The Testing of My Faith. Um, this book started uh, back in 2010. Um, it birthed, that's what I like to say. This is my baby. So, the, you know, I began to um, start writing. It started off as a journal um, to help with certain things in my life that had occurred and happened concerning um, PTSD. And so um, they gave me a tool to begin to just start journaling. And the journaling, God began to speak to my heart um, in 2011 to turn it into a book. Praise God. And you know, when we think about this in uh, any writer, any author, Praise God, especially Christian out there. It's God that does it. Yes. Praise God. And we have to recognize that it's God that blesses us, even with the experiences that we go through. And a lot of times our testimonies come from our experiences. Mm -hmm. But the word of God say, they overcame the wicked one mm -hmm. by the words of their testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So that testimony is important. Yes, it is. And I, I, I was liking when you mentioned uh, about a journal. So often I get with a lot of the authors that I talked to over the years and those that write or don't write. Mm -hmm. I say it's so good to record something. They call it a diary with young ladies, mm -hmm. but later on become a journal. Yes. Because what? Sometimes we think we're going to remember everything that God put on our heart. And then we say, I'll put it off tomorrow, I'll, I'll remember. And it's not like it when he inspired you at that moment. Yes. That's why it's always important to write it down, mm -hmm. even in the hard time. It was a young lady once I was talking to her about uh, writing, and she said, well, I did write, but I was going through, I had so many hard days and time, and God delivered me, so I destroyed all that mess. I said, no, you didn't. Wow. It was so important. Yes. The time you were going through, it would act as a therapy also. Mm -hmm. It would actually help someone else later on knowing you had went through. Because yes. these words is nothing but a testimony yes, it is. of what God has done. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And I don't know if they got ready to bring my Bible scripture today. Praise God, because one thing about the subject today is talking about the testing of my faith. Yes. And the faith is important. Yes, it and is. And I love the Bible definition for faith. Uh -huh. Praise God. And that is in Hebrews, mm -hmm. the 11th chapter, in the first verse. Mm -hmm. Now faith. Mm -hmm. Now faith. Is the substance yes, it is. of things hoped for. Yes. The evidence of things that's not, not seen. seen. Yes. Praise God. That's a powerful <laughs> message right there. Yes, it is. Praise God. And I hear you have got a book testing of. The testing of my faith. Praise God. Yes. The testing of my hope. Mm. The testing of those things that's unseen. That's right. The testing. And we all go through something. Yes, we do. Praise God. In the word of God, so many are the afflictions of the righteous. righteous. Uh -huh. But, <laughs> come on. But, <laughs> the Lord shall deliver yes. them out of them all. Yes. Amen. If you never go through anything, how do you know that God is good? That's right. A rich man can't even really appreciate richness without ever being poor. That's right. <laughs> you got to go through something to get there. Oh, yes. You got to have a test. Yes. And that's what people have to realize, you know, even with the title, um, you know, God said, you said yes. And, you know, what we have to understand is every yes comes a test. So yes. there was a test. And in the end, I had to endure. And it was the foundation, the substance. Uh -huh. What did I put into myself? What did I feed myself on a daily? It's just not just a prayer. You know, we talk 
and we say things and we minister, but are we really praying? Are we really mm -hmm. reading the word? You know, because when we when it gets to times when we really need God, you can't just start building when you need him there. You already have to have it built up already. The foundation has to be laid already. So the testing of my faith is it's powerful. It's a great read. Um, and, you know, of course, it's Christian foundation. Mm -hmm. But I believe anybody, Christian or non-Christian, my hope is that every individual that touches this book, every individual that open page by page, yes. it doesn't matter your religion, doesn't matter who you say you believe in, but now is the time where I feel like I no longer want people to just hear about God, mm -hmm. but I want people to walk through my journey and have an encounter yes. with Him. Yeah. So. And I know you, you've been saved all your life, right? You're in a relationship. Oh. <laughs> you it's dropped down out of glory and oh, no. never had no hard time. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. No. Well, you know, a lot of times when people get uh, in the world, you have hard times when you're not saved, right? That's right. Mm. So versus the time when you were unsaved mm -hmm. and dealing with situations mm -hmm. versus the time when now do you have Christ in your life, mm -hmm. what kind of balance or what type of a comparison that you can make the time? Because we all go through something in life. That's right. See, when you know, my, my thing is when I think a lot of times we don't think about when we're not living and walking with God mm -hmm. and when we go through a situation, see, we turn to man, we go to mama, we mm -hmm. go to daddy, we go to sister, we go to boyfriend, husband, whoever, and we want them to fix the situation. Mm -hmm. And see, it's, it's not in their power, it's not in their hands, because some things it's going to take a miracle to fix. And yes. so when you need a miracle in your life, Mm -hmm. You got to have a foundation. You got to have a walk. You got to have that peace with God, a greater understanding. You know, you got to have that, um, you know, that Christian walk with God by yourself because sometimes it's going to take something more than just a friend or a family member mm -hmm. to get you through something. Yes. You know, you need that miracle work in God, the God that we read about, we, the God that we heard about, you know, if, you know, the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of the, his garment, you know, and she was made whole. By her faith, she yes. was made whole. It wasn't the fact that God, because God could have easily, I mean, Jesus could have easily healed her, uh -huh. but he said, because of your faith, mm. And so this is what we find out even in the book. The um, character is Janae, um, and she is, you know, going through some things, and she's having a hard time where in 2010, com um, we're coming up on the 11th anniversary, November 30th, 2010 to be exact, that she went in and she went to have a procedure, and in that procedure, some things had happened in that procedure. See, sometimes we go in for something, mm -hmm. but we don't know how we're going to come out. Right. And right. so Janae finds out that, you know, I'm surrounded, I'm in a room, mm -hmm. surrounded with many people. Yes. Mama, brother, husband, pastor, youth pastor, church members, mm. surrounded yes. in a room, but not one individual in that room could save her. Mm. No. And so she had to find out that I couldn't just, you know, Janae couldn't hurry up and just all of a sudden Ooh, but let me start building this relationship with God right now to see how he's going to bring me out. But see, it had to be something already deep down inside of Janae, because when we can't call on other people, who are we going to call on? And this is where we get from the world when we talk about you know, question in the beginning, when they talked about saved and not saved, who can we call on? Yes. See, at that moment, Janae couldn't call on to, uh, to nobody. Mm -hmm. She couldn't even tell them how she was feeling. Yes. She couldn't even tell them about the pain. You know, nobody knew what was going on, but a crowded room. Mm. It was as though they were there to, you know, at a funeral, pretty mm. much, mm. viewing the body. Mm. But nobody could bring her out. Mm. And so she had to have this relationship already. already. Yes. She had to already, deep down and sad, know that no matter what happens, no matter what goes on in my life, no matter the walk in my journey, who am I taking with me in my journey? Yes. It's not about your mom, it's not about your dad, it's not about your husband, mm -hmm. but who is it is going to matter in the end in that journey that's going to be able to bring her out? Who's going to be that miracle worker? Right. Who's going to be the healer? Who's going to, you know, take her from her position in what we see, the now to what she didn't know, the faith. Yes. The faith is a substance, you yes, know. Yes, yes. So it's like now, 
where does she go? What, what does my end look like? Because the situation I'm in, it didn't look like I was, you know, Janae was coming out. And yeah. so the thing is, is who is she bringing with her? Yes. You know, who is she calling out to? Who is she dependent on yeah. to work a miracle in her life? And see, and that's what we had to get to. We got to know who's working a miracle, who's working on our behalf. Yes. You know, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Mm -hmm. You know, our Father. We got to know who we, who we taking with us. Really? And sometimes, you know, <laughs> Like I said, I repeat it over and over all the time, you know, because we get so comfortable with knowing that we got other people, mm -hmm. man, mm -hmm. we have other people with us. Yes. But there comes a time where my husband, you know, he can't bring you out of this situation. He can't help you out of this. So who else am I going to call on? Who else am I going to trust and believe in? So, yeah. you know, it's just a, a test. All right. <laughs> and you have to understand um, who's with you during that time in your journey. I know my wife used to always say, and I, it stayed with me a lot, she said, you know, there's time in your life. You could be in a room full of people, mm -hmm. yet you are all alone. All alone, in a crowded room. In a, oh, my God. Fighting alone. Yes, yes, yes. I thought about that when you said that. And, you know, in and, and the character of your book, I was wondering, would you term it or classify it as fiction or uh, I know it's truth that's taking place. How would you? Um, it can, you know, is, is, is in a realm of, well, you got to base it on one or the other, but yeah. it's based off of a true story. So you would probably lean more towards a nonfiction. Mm -hmm. Fiction also is is based off of a true story as well. So it kind of like falls between both. Fictional characters, maybe, and um, a because, true well, happening. Well, the characters are really, you know, the Janae portrays, you know, of course, the mm -hmm. author. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I no real names were used. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yes. A victim, uh, yes. Uh, names. Uh, they said to protect the innocent. <laughs> right. That's right. Yes. So. Yes. So yes. Fiction, but the message yes. in the happening. Yes. Is true. It's based. Yes. All of it is true. All yes. of it happened. Everything that's in this book that you read about that gets you to the point. Um, it happens. You know, yes. like um, the core of the story. Yes. Yes. Is based off of a true story, so yes. And you know the funny thing, even a lot of movies, because it started in a book before it became a movie. That's right. Most movies that I realize, we may look at it for entertainment, mm -hmm. but it's based on truth. Yes. And a lot of times later on, we say, oh my God, this hap what happened before. Mm -hmm. But I think so, I read this in a book. It, even some of the stories that they have to take a fictitious classification, mm -hmm. it's based on something. Yes. Even though I think about all the horror movies and the scientific movies and the super animals, they blew them up. When I was in biological science, it blew my mind when they brought six, seven inch, six or seven inch long grasshoppers for us to dissect. Mm. Praise God. Now, the movie probably would have made them six feet long, but it was based on something that they can do to increase the size. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's based on some truth, but then the fictitious part. It's even in the horror of fictitious movies, praise yes, God. Yes. But it's so, I look at Hollywood and I look at um, a lot of uh, things that we see on television that people write about, but you know the real characters? Uh, every day. Mm -hmm. They're writing about the everyday character. Yes. So many times we say in the real world, mm -hmm. praise God, you're there in the real world. We live in the real world. Yes, we do. The actors only try to portray what we go through on a daily basis. Yes. Praise God. But there's nothing like our going through and mm -hmm. our sharing our story. Exactly. Praise God. But and, and you were talking a little bit earlier about the difference of going through without God mm -hmm. and now as a Christian going through with God. Mm hmm but well, somebody may not even understand what we're talking about when we said, I know you do, mm -hmm. praise God. But sometimes you have to just basically spit it out in your own words, mm -hmm. the difference. How does it feel? Now, like you said, we reach out to the mom, dad, mm -hmm. the doctor, and when all of those people fail, mm -hmm. when everything mm -hmm. looked bleak mm -hmm. in everybody else's eyes, when the doctor said, we've done all we could do. Done all we can. And then look and say, let's pray, family. 
Now, I know the older doctor, boy, they did a lot of praying. I don't think a lot of modern doctors do as much today, but they knew what they did was at a limit. Mm -hmm. And I still wear this little sign around my neck. I used to talk to my wife always about the prayer of serenity, mm -hmm. knowing those things that we could change, and then the ability, in my own words, I'm saying, those that we cannot. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things where we're talking about faith. But we should give it all to God. On our, it's in all our ways to acknowledge, acknowledge him. him. He shall direct our paths. That's a daily walk. Mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes, it is. Sometimes even when we think, the Bible says, when he think he's going to take heed, mm -hmm. lest we fall. And a lot of times we get so confident in what ourselves and our own ability. And don't you feel that's one of the problems today that we face today? Some dependent on their intellectual, their educational, or their ability of the past experiences and sometimes feel that I can do this. Mm -hmm. But the correct way is when we learn that, hey, without him, I can do nothing. That's right. I, got, I can't even breathe without him. Mm -hmm. So how can I get caught up to the point to believe that, hey, I can do this. I got this. You know, the kids say, I got this. Mm -hmm. But we don't have it if we don't have God. That's right. And don't know how to go to him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And I love to go back to that faith thing. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, not tomorrow. That's right. Not next year. Not last year. I like the way it started off with that verse. Now. Oh, it's the faith. Mm -hmm. Now faith. is the substance. Right now. That's right. It's a substance of things, hope. The things that we hope for. If we have it, there's no reason to have faith. Mm. But one thing I love also, our entire life is depend on eternity when it says, without faith, mm -hmm. it's impossible to please God. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful thing to subject faith. It is. We it's, can't please God. That's right. Out of all the ways that we may try to do, mm -hmm. one scripture says you can give your body to be burned. Mm. And have not charity, which is God. Mm. And to have God to have faith and to believe. Mm -hmm. He so loved us. It's not that he don't love us. The thing is, do we love him? That's right. Enough to obey and seek and trust yes. and hope. <laughs> and it's not that hard. I mean, you look at life and, um, you know, even in educational pieces, we go to school, mm -hmm. you know, um, being a nurse by trade. Okay. So you go to school, yes. you learn all the skills of nursing. Uh-huh. And when you go out into the real world, world. <laughs> the real world. Yes, and yes. you have to apply it. You gotta trust and believe what? Yes. What you learn. Yes. That it's gonna work. Yes. If they told me to take this medicine, draw up so many CCs, and they told me that this medicine is gonna do this, once I put it into that individual, I expect it to do what they said it was going to do. So yes. why is it so hard for us to trust mm -hmm. God by his word? Yes. Why can't we trust and believe that he is the author and finisher of our faith? Why can't we trust and believe that he said we can look into the hills from which cometh our help and our help cometh from the Lord? You know, we have to, you know, he said he'll provide what? All of our needs yes. according to his riches and glory. Mm -hmm. Now we, we see all of this in the word, mm -hmm. but how can it be that we can believe one thing but we can't believe what our Father is telling mm. us. Yes. yes. And that's where your faith is going to lie on, what you believe in. Oh, yes. Because, you know, man can fool man, but we can't fool God. No, no. He know our heart. Yes. He know what we lie at with him. We know, you know, if we lined up with his word or not. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's just as simple as uh, one, the individual, I can't make you trust God. Mm -hmm. I can't make you love God. All I can do is to tell you my testimony of what God has done for me. Yes. And that's what the testing of my faith is. It's just telling you that if God can do this for me, mm -hmm. I know he can do it for you. Yes. And when you finish reading, <laughs> you no longer would just know about him. Right. But in right. the end, my goal, my expectancy mm -hmm. lined up with God says that they shall have an encounter with me uh -huh. when they finish. So. Yeah. You have been asked or heard someone refer to faith as in degrees of faith. Uh, oh, she got more faith than I got. Well, oh, I can yeah. never have as much faith as you got. Yeah, you hear that a lot. 
And if and if some of it be from s s some that say they say so, you know, saved, yeah. sanctified, yeah. and Holy Ghost filled. Well, she yeah. got more faith than me. Yeah. Well, that's something. <laughs> when you just trust and believe that somebody got more faith than you, that means you don't even trust. All right. You don't even trust where where you're walking, God, at that moment. Yes. Where you where you lie at? Where you know? So that means if you get sick. Uh huh. <laughs> And you don't yeah. have nobody else around you. Janae, nobody else around. Yes. But now how do I get that connection? See, it's like, oh, well, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Well, can't nobody else, you know, they say when you, if there's any sick among you, call upon the elders. Uh -huh. Well, I can't call an elder if I can't get the words out. <laughs> yes, yeah. So yeah. now what I have to do, uh -huh. I got to have enough faith inside of me that says, the same faith that he gave the disciple, he said, if you want that, you what, the move the mountain, it can be moved. Yes. You got to speak it mm -hmm. and believe it and yes. it shall be so. And so we got to speak it. And Janae had to find deep down inside when no one else mm -hmm. that I got enough faith and trust and believe in what I, I, the foundation that has been laid and set in me that I can call out to my God, yes. that I can begin to say, God, here I am standing in the need of prayer yes. and I need you right now, God. Nobody else can hear me. Nobody else can understand what I'm going through. I'm crying in the inside, but no tears is manifesting on the outside. Yes. I'm hollering in the inside, but nobody can hear my screams. Yes. But here I am all by myself. Mm -hmm not even knowing if I'm yet still living. Yes. Is this the in-between state? Mm. Am I in a holding state at this point? Mm. Am I living? Is this death? But Janae had to go through all this by mm. herself with nobody else, but only thing she could rely on is her faith. Mm. And can you imagine mm -hmm. not having faith and not know, you already in the unknown, cause mm -hmm. you like, I don't know where I'm at. I don't even know what state I'm in at mm -hmm. this point. So where am I at this point? Yeah. But, it, but during that time, I gotta know how to pray for myself. I gotta know how to lay hands upon myself when nobody else can reach out to me, you know, reach God for me. Yes. I gotta be able to have something coming off my lips, God, from my lips to your ears, God, do you hear me? I need you like never before. I need you to work a miracle in me. I need you to do some things that they can't even understand right now. Yes. I don't even know what's going on, but God, <laughs> if I rest in you, yes. I know you're gonna work a miracle. Yeah. So, you know, now it's time for Janae to sit back and relax and know that she's in good hand. Even though, even in your walk, sometimes when it doesn't, that's like going to the doctors and find out you got cancer. Yes. Your humanistic side is gonna kick in first. Yes. Cancer? Yes. But then you better hope just as quick as that human side kick in and a little bit of, you might have a little bit of, um, fear or anything that may kick in after you heard it, but you better hurry up and get back to what you know and say, God, I know what they said, but this is man speaking. Yes. And even so, God, I know you can heal me and deliver me even from cancer. Yes. And so we have to be able to start speaking those things. And yes. that's where Janae finds herself when you just can't reach nobody else. Mm -hmm. Where do my relationship lies in God? That even if sometimes I, time go by and I begin to say, well, Lord, they saying one thing because now J Janae is in a point where she can't speak, but she can hear. Mm -hmm. You lose a sense, but your other ones come yes. heightened in yes. that moment. And so now my ears have to paint the picture of everything that's going on around me. Yes. And so it's like, okay, Lord, here I am all by myself in a crowded room and I have to keep saying in a crowded yes. room because at times people don't understand you can be in a church service yes. surrounded by all these members and going through yes. suffering for mental illness yes. suffering because you just got the a, a doctor's report yes but I don't have anybody reaching over saying well baby God told me to pray for you or, or you know we not as keen mm -hmm. as we need to be okay. in the spirit yes and yes. so now here I am in a crowded room, mm -hmm. <laughs> but all you can hear is wake up. Yes. Okay, God, now what? Yes. I know what they saying, mm -hmm. but what's going on right now? Right. What do I need to do? Yes. And so now is the time that I have to use what I know, what, again, like I said before, the things that I put into my body, 
Yes. What did I put in my body? I put your word mm. in my body. Yes. I trust and believe in the God that said he'll, he'll, do, he'll work miracles for me. Mm -hmm. He said, by his stripes, by his I am stripes. healed. Yes. And so he said so. I have to believe so. Yes. So now I got to speak it. Even laying in a hospital bed helplessly, mm. surrounded, yes. crowded room. Yes. God, by your stripes. I am now healed. You got to speak a thing into your spirit. Yes. Is that something like for, uh, for the, uh, the general viewers today? I know you're in the medical field. So would you consider that state like uh, unconsciousness? Many times in my understanding, a person in, that is unconscious still here and mm -hmm. know things that's going about around them. Yes. They might not be able to respond and that, I That's believe, right. is what you're explaining, that yes. type of, of unconscious. It's a locked-in state. Mm. So you locked in a state that you can't, um, I'm, Janae is locked in a state. <laughs> 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 locked in a state, okay, that she can't come out of, she uh -huh. can't fake it. Uh -huh. I can't fake to be in a state that I don't hear you or I can't move, mm -hmm. but it's a locked in state, but yet I'm conscious in the inside. Yes, yes. And hearing is the last to go. I don't care what stage you in, mm -hmm. hearing is the last to go. Yes. And so now you have to say, okay. Yes. Is this death? Yes. And that's some of our training as a minister. Earlier, they always told us, when you minister, regardless of the state that person may be in, that's right. they can still hear you. That's right. They can hear, they yes. can't respond, but they can mm -hmm. hear. That's what they call an unconscious. Mm -hmm. So that is a special place that a lot of people don't realize they've never been there, mm -hmm. of being all alone because you can't communicate with the outside. But the one that you can communicate with is the Creator. That's right. Because he knows. He does. He knows the thought, the heart, the mind. That's right. And, and our spirit, they talk about telepathy, creator. And mm -hmm. sometimes that's the first time people really get a chance when they cannot communicate with no one in the physical world. Mm -hmm. They can always communicate in the spirit. That's right. And, you know, a lot of things, I, I, I think, I know the Lord gave me a message one time. And the word of God let us know he gave us all. A portion of faith. Mm -hmm. Everybody. So there's no one to say, well, I don't have no faith. Because the Word of God says He gives everybody mm -hmm. a portion of faith. Mm -hmm. And I also believe it speaks, I know the Word of God speaks up. If we had the faith of a grain of what? Side of, size must, of a mustard seed. And that's the smallest and it's tiny. <laughs> but if we just had if enough. If we just had that. That much faith. It's the potential <laughs> and not the size, right? That's right. A lot of people look at it, it's the size. No, it's not the size. Mm. It's the potential. The little muscle seed grew up to be a great big tree. But it started off with such a small. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's interesting. And when the Lord speaks to you, he gives you, you don't understand. But when you're a minister, I'm sure you know, when he began to speak, even sometimes it takes our natural mind to catch up. Mm when the Lord give a revelation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in the ministry, and you probably I know you do it in the ministry, when you're speaking, people think it's you, but the Lord begin feeding you faster than you can speak. That's right. And I remember the Lord gave me a message on faith. And we were talking about every por everybody get a portion. And the Lord went down and we talked about everybody. When you get up in the morning, it takes you faith to put your feet on the ground. Because you trust and you don't see That's yourself, right. but you have faith before you put your foot on the ground. That's right. You got faith. And some people wake up overnight and can't walk the next day. That's right. But by faith, we always put our foot on the ground not thinking. Mm -hmm. When we walk into a room, mm -hmm. we flip the switch, lights will blow. That's right. But we have so much faith. We walk in a room, flip the light, and keep walking. Because mm -hmm. what? You had faith that the light was going to come That's on. That's right. At my size, I should check every chair that I sit in. Mm. But when you go into a strange place, how many people check and test the chair before they sit down? You just know that when I, it, by my faith, when I sit in this chair, it's, it's going to hold me. me. That's, That's right. the faith. 
And the Lord carried me through so many scenarios while I was throwing that message. Even when we go get a job, mm -hmm. we don't see the man that's giving a check, but we have faith that he's going to pay me. That's right, that the money coming. And it's Next right, week. right? <laughs> it's going to be Two right. Weeks later. <laughs> but you know, you got faith in the man you don't even see. That's right. That's writing your check, but he's going to write your check. Mm. And the Lord kept carrying me. When you get ready to go to church on Sunday, how many people put on a pair of coveralls and go out and check their car before they get dressed? But by faith, <laughs> they get completely dressed. By faith, Walk down to that car. It might not stop, but they had faith it was going to that, start. That's right. Put the key in the ignition, didn't it? And <laughs> at the end of the message, it was like a bombshell. The Lord gave me to tell the audience, they have faith, but not in me. Mm. And when I said it, I could feel how the Spirit began to touch people to realize we got faith. We use faith every day, but not in God, mm. the one that we really should have our faith in, the only mm. one that can do the things that we desire. That's right. Isn't it a bombshell? Mm -hmm. To think that all of the faith that we have, we have faith in our doctors, they're going to tell us the right thing, our nurses, they're going to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. We have faith in the newspaper psalm. As it's written in the paper, they believe it like it's the Bible. Yes, they do. If someone gossip, some people have faith in gossip. <laughs> mother Smith ain't going to lie. Now, I know she said it. <laughs> you know that's right. That's the mother of the church. <laughs> but all of these things that we place faith in on a daily basis, when the Lord spoke to me, it hit me too. I said, ooh. But we can't trust our God. The one that created you. He said, I knew you when you was formed in your mother's yes. womb. I know every hair upon your head. Oh, my God. I know your thoughts. Yes. He said, I know the plans that I have for you. You know, yes. just just so much. And we just can't cannot trust, trust the one. The one and only. <laughs> no matter what you're going through, the only one that could ever Yes. work a miracle on your behalf, but yes. we can't trust them. Mm. But we trust everybody else. Mm, 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 mm. That's important. Mm -hmm. That's something, isn't it? It is. To be able to have your faith before you get to the point when you're in a conscious state that no one can communicate. It's only you and God, as we say. That's right. That is a time. We should get to that before. We have to come to that point in life. Mm -hmm. And that's what we try to learn. Why are you feeling good? Why things are going good? Mm -hmm. Build up your most holy faith, mm -hmm. praying in the Holy Ghost. That's right. Those are the things that we, people say, why are you practicing? You, everything's okay? Let me tell you something. It's not gonna always be that way. No, it's not. And all of a sudden, sometimes if you don't have no faith, building your faith, you're just not gonna reach out and grab faith mm -hmm. if you never had trusted in him. That's right. Sometimes, praise God, if you always went to the pill bottle for when things went wrong, mm -hmm. you're going to self-medicate yourself. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, they do that. They try to self-medicate themselves because they have not learned to trust in the Creator, which That's is God. Right. That God that made, if the manufacturer puts you together, shouldn't he know what you need and how to mm -hmm. address your problem? Mm -hmm. You know, man, a lot of times we get so caught up in our own intellect. I laugh about us men a lot of times. Go get a gym set. Huh. How many men look at the instruction? Oh, I know how to put this thing together. Mm -hmm. I've been working years putting things together. And trust and believe when you pick up the material, it's going <laughs> to stay on like it's supposed to, right? <laughs> and you end up with so many parts left over. Well, I don't know why they put that in. Why is it, and it seemed like, man, how is it that we can put so much trust in ourselves? I know myself, I fail myself a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Times you want to get up, you oversleep. If I can't trust myself in the simple things of life, how can I trust for those things that are eternal? For the word of God said, there's a man, there is a way that seemeth right into man. Mm. Curse is a man that trusts us in the arm of flesh. That's what this flesh is somebody else's flesh. Mm -hmm. 
So when we put all our trust in our flesh and our ability, we're already in a losing place, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, Praise we God. Are. But it's hard for people to understand that, you know, relying on self or man is not going to get you in a time or a situation you in a car accident, mm. you pent between, you smashed up, yes. Yes. you waiting on who? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I think in some time, uh, a prayer don't have to be a long, drawn out thing. Mm -hmm. Sometime a prayer just, Jesus! That's right. Somebody said before they hit, they said, and that was a thing. That's right. If it was sincere, that made the difference in their survival. Because mm -hmm. they thought and grabbed hold of something that they could hold on to. Mm -hmm. uh, some people didn't know God, they made a call mama, That's right. daddy, but mama and daddy couldn't help you. That's right. You're in a situation miles away from home. Mama and daddy is not supernatural, they cannot hear you. That's right. But we do know there's situations where people cried up for mom and dad. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, not babies, I mean grown mm -hmm. folks that found themselves in situations because they didn't know where to go. They went back to their child state, Mama, Daddy. I'm sure you've seen that in the medical field. I know we can't talk about a lot mm -hmm. of things. You've seen those things that people that did not know who God was, they know they help. Mm -hmm. And they left this world, some of them, trusting in what? Because they never trusted and learned to trust in anything. My auntie worked at the VA. And sadly, say, she said, some left this life cursing and swearing because they didn't know what else to do. That's right. They had never committed themselves to learn to know who the creator was, to create it. And when you, can we not trust the one that created us? That's right. The world is, whether you really understand or believe it or not, just the thought of knowing there was nothing made, it was made that he did not create. That's right. Out of all the other gods that people proclaim, the only God of the Bible that step forth and said and tell you from the beginning how and what he did That's right. to create the earth and the heaven and the animals and the seas everything and the speaking into existing mm -hmm. which is the word that word is something isn't that it? that word is everything <laughs> <laughs> it ain't just something it's everything you know? <laughs> and the power mm -hmm of the word. Now God, when he spoke, oh boy, I don't give him something that great, great God. When he spoke, he spoke things into what? Into existence. And do you know something today? Sometimes the second world, the business world, in the last 15, 20 years, they began to understand mm -hmm. the power, life and death is in what? The power. power at a time. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get me excited here. I have you it's in the tongue. Speak. What you speak. That's right. It's in the tongue. We may not be able to speak like God and create earth, but that's right. We have the power to speak things. That's right. A lot of the business seminars now they tell them, write it down. Speak it. Believe it. So a man thinketh. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the thought, how you approach it, mm -hmm. you believe it and you speak it. That's right. But you got to believe it, right? That's right. It's all about believe. You can speak yes. all day, but <laughs> if you don't believe it, nothing's going to change. Oh, my God. Nothing's going to happen. Yes. <laughs> you know, we got to speak a thing so, like you said. We yes. got to trust and believe and know yes. that what we speak mm. is going to happen. Yes. I speak healing. It's going to happen. Yes. You um, know? Yes. Some things doesn't happen right away, right. but I trust and believe whether it's now or whether it's in the future, yes. I shall be healed. Yes, yes. And the thing is, that, that, that's another thing. We can wait in a waiting room until the medical profession can get to us. And sometimes it takes a long time, especially in the emergency. But why is it we can wait on man to try to heal something, but we're not ready to wait on God? Mm. We pray if he don't do it in the next minute, we look for something else the other That's way. Right. We try, we're trying to fix it. <laughs> That's not faith, Mess is it? it all up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not faith, is it? No, it's not. And the things that we want, I know God gave it to me a long time ago, and I've shared it in so many counseling sessions, but mothers can appreciate the analogy that God gives me once. You can have a baby, 
he's going from breastfeeding to bottle feeding, and he began to eat from the spoon for the first time. Mm -hmm. And the, they wanted, and especially if mama got some fruit on that spoon, peaches, cream, you know. Mm -hmm. That baby wanted so bad. But when mama dip into the peaches or applesauce and bring it to the baby's mouth, what does that baby do? And his anxiety reaches out, trying to bring it, and knocks it out of mama's hand. They want it, but yet and still, they do not have the knowledge, ability to bring it to their mouth mm -hmm. and eat it. Why am I, what am I saying? A lot of times when God trying to do something for us, mm -hmm. we're trying to help him, and basically we're knocking it out of his hand. We want it, but we don't know how to receive it because we can't trust him to get it mm -hmm. for us. And what does the mother do? A lot of times the mother take one hand, hold both of the little baby hand, and take the spoon, and guide it. Mm -hmm. and that's what I want, that's what I want. Yeah, but you don't know how to get it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes God had to stop us, slow us down. I don't want to talk from your book, praise God. Oh, no, no, you're good. And <laughs> hold our hands mm -hmm. to give us what we really want, because we don't even know how to receive what we want. That's right. That's why it's important that we acknowledge him. I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know how to host. Mm. But I ask God, Lord help me. You know what your people need. Praise God. My guests come, I, you know I don't drill y'all, I don't tell y'all what to say. That's right. Let the spirit lead. Mm -hmm. If you want to say, this is a spirit led show. <laughs> we do some other net things in, in, the, in the community. Mm -hmm. But I seek God to lead us in the things. And I know you understand that's what happened to you with the book. That's right. I know you shared with me, it didn't come all at one time. Sometimes no. you have to wait to the Spirit to give you the next step. That's right. 11 years, we're coming up on the 11th anniversary. Wow. Third trimester, right. but I finally get to give birth. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Praise God. I've, I've been huffing and puffing. <laughs> I've been in the third trimester for 11 years. Yes. But the baby is here. The baby is here. Early. That's right. But the baby is here. <laughs> like, it's not premature. It's all right. Hey, it's early. Yeah, the 30th. I mean, you know, if you go back from the birth and actually get being impregnated with the book yes. to giving birth, yes. I'm working on a week or so early, but that's okay. Ah. But everything because it was in God's timing. Yes, yes. And it was all God that led me because I... I think I have, I, I almost could probably say I got another book in the works. Oh, you do, you do. I can almost say after going what I didn't went through, I yes. can write about it now. Oh, well, yes. But you know, it's that, it has to be, Is that, God has to lead me and let me know this when? is what he wants to be, yes. you know, yes. spoken of, so. But you know, the thing talking about premature, mm -hmm. in a natural premature baby is fully developed. Yes, they are. Man may call them premature, but everything they need is there. That's right. Early, but on time. <laughs> God weighs always on time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But you know, in, in, in life itself, there is a way that seemeth right. Mm -hmm. I mean, to our own understanding. But how many times God, I said purposely, do it something different that no one can take credit for what he does. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we trust in so many things in our ability. I think God do it on purpose. You think he's gonna come out on the left side and he come on the right. Mm -hmm. You think he's coming from behind you, he come from the front. Mm -hmm. You think he's coming from below, he come from above. Mm -hmm. That no one can take credit for what he does. That's right. All those are sad time, things, sometimes people give the credit to the wrong person. That's right. I know I, I, one of the scenarios, and not calling the name, you remember some people over the years, they have a degree, they have all the things in education and school, and but they can't get a job. Mm. And that happens for a lot of people if they come out of school. They can't get the job they want, but they have spent all the time in school, they got the paperwork, but they can't get the job they want. Mm -hmm. Then they go to somebody, y'all pray for me, I can't get, seem to get the job. Y'all pray for me. And then all of a sudden they get the job and they come back, you got the job? Yeah, but you know I have a degree in this mm -hmm. and I spent so many years in that. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. But well, didn't you tell me to pray? 
You had all of that before <laughs> you, you couldn't get it. Why would we rob God? No, there's something mm-hmm. different. If it was about faith, you trust in God, give it to you. Mm-hmm. Don't give the credit to nothing else. But God. But give him the praise. That's right. Because when we do that, it opens the door for him to do more. And that's why God a lot of times had to do it in a miraculous way so yes. that we can't go out and say, we did this right. and we did that. Because Janae could have said something different. Yes. Oh, I just woke up because, you know, maybe they gave me a little bit too much medicine or maybe this happened or maybe that happened. No. It was all God. Yes. You know, I think a lot of times, uh, especially, and you know as well in surgery, the doctor can put you out. Mm-hmm. But it take God to wake you That's back up. That's right. They had to put you in the recovery room. They've done all they could do. They put you under. Mm-hmm. But it take God. After we're off, and if they don't, if God don't allow you to wake up, there's nothing they can do. Mm-hmm. As it's like when we go to sleep at night. If God don't wake us up, the alarm clock will ring, 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 ring. But you may not rise to that alarm. Exactly. It's important to understand faith. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, things come up in our life. That's right. And we might get angry, but it don't feel good to be tested. But that is the only way our faith is going to be built. Mm -hmm. If you never had faith in God to do anything, how would you be able to know for the next step? Mm -hmm. For the first trimester, the second trimester, the third. If you didn't trust enough in those early stages, how can you trust him in a greater thing? That's right. Your test can't be comfortable. Exactly. Because then what? (laughs) <laughs> yes, 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 yes. No, it has to be uncomfortable. Yes. It has to have you at a point to where you have to seek beyond everyone else, seek beyond doctors, seek beyond, you know, uh, the medical help. Yes, God put people in place. Yes. But there comes a time where you need beyond yes. what a doctor can say and what a doctor can do. But you got to go to the great physician. Oh, yes. <laughs> He can only do what he studies yes. in practice. Mm-hmm. God, again, he's the creator. He knows. That's right. He made us. He's the manufacturer. That's right. But we fail to want to trust in the one that really is the only one that can help us. That's right. Praise God. His way is not our way. I, it's thought, he said his way is high as the heaven is above the earth. Mm. I was flying from Europe one year. I was so high in that big plane, I looked down and thought I'd seen a boat in the ocean. Uh-uh. But it kept on, and I said, I'm doing, I'm, we fly cruise speed 600 miles an hour. Hmm. How's that boat keeping up with it? And I didn't realize it was another jet down below us. <laughs> I said, my God, how high are we? And wow. I said that to say this, if God weighs high as the heaven is above earth, we don't think nothing like him. Hmm. No wonder he says in all our ways that we need to acknowledge, acknowledge him. him. Yes. We have to direct our path. Yes, right. Because we don't, I don't care what your title is. We give you the title down here. I don't care what your position is, your education or background. Come some point in life and realize that means nothing mm-hmm. to realize who God is. It seems like the Lord been putting on my heart late. I'm going to let you finish up here. But for the past, I mean, you're so reflecting on Paul. Mm-hmm. Paul was a very educated man. He knew the word, the law, forward and backwards, the strictest sect of the Pharisees. But when Paul got to know who Christ was, that's why he comes a genealogy. He goes all the way back to his root, back to the Hebrews. He goes all the way. He said, if anyone have anything to boast, I more. I speak in tongues more than any. But at the end of his speech, he said, what? But I count it all waste. Mm-hmm. All the knowledge and the knowledge of man, I've got to a place that I find the only hope, the only true knowledge comes from God. That I count all of these things as waste to learn Christ more. In contrast, I think about Solomon. Solomon, <laughs> he was in a place in life, he said anything is IBL. Mm-hmm. He can have. How many people do that? Practically, and he was considered one of the wisest kings. Mm-hmm. We know that goes on record. Being the wisest king, man, 
over 365 wives, <laughs> 700 concubines, <laughs> anything his eyes seen he could have, mm -hmm. and even Solomon come. The preachers say, all is vanity. Mm. Having all of that, the knowledge, the power, and yet he comes to a place in his life and realize all of this that men are dying to get, even a day to get what Solomon had, and he got all of that. He realized it what? It was all vanity. It was empty. And when we come to that place in our life, we realize only Christ is the answer. That's right. Our hope, our hope for whatever it is in this life, everything in this life that you desire. And I'm waiting for the second book. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't hold your, your <laughs> breath, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I'm going to hold my breath. You ain't going to kill me. It'd be your fault if I hold my breath. <laughs> Don't you dare hold your breath. <laughs> but faith is in there. That's right. It's in there. Whatever God desire is. It is. Mm -hmm. But it's a stepping stone. Everybody has the first. That's right. My sister, she started with one. She had 10 books, I think, on the market now. That's wonderful. But when you trust in God, because mm -hmm. he's constantly speaking, he's constantly ministering. If you got a writing minister, God put that in there, he give it to you for a reason. That's right. Some people can sing and they can't write. Mm -hmm. Other people are gifted to put it in words. Mm -hmm. Me putting the book together, I'd write poetry, but I need someone to put the mechanic English department, you mm -hmm. know, put it. Oh, it takes a team. Yes. <laughs> it definitely takes a team. But the message but that's and right. the seed that God planet that's right it's within you mm -hmm. that's why we have ghost writers some people cannot write anything but they have the story that's right they have the message mm -hmm. thank god for technology today that's praise right. god but we should not sit down on what god has given us as an experience that's right we should never let those things stop us because there's so many opportunities out there that's right and even such as a gift well, we take that and put it in a bushel basket. Well, we hide it. Yeah, God gave it to you for a purpose mm -hmm. to give. That's right. Pastor Allen used to tell us, old pastor, he said, look, what God tell you in your ear, he wants you to proclaim it on the hot stop. Mm -hmm. He don't give these things just to keep you ourself and gloat on what we know. That's right. Because I feel like, you know, a lot of times you hear that old song, they always sing around offering time, the more, you give, the more he gives to you. <laughs> Just keep on giving. But you know something? The Lord allowed me to realize it's more than giving monetary. The more you give him his, of yourself, That's right. the more he gives you of him. Mm -hmm. And his reward is greater. Yes. Draw nine to him and you do you what? Draw nine to you. Praise God. If we give him what he give us, mm -hmm. praise God. What do you tell Moses? Moses, what's that in your hand? Mm. Stress it mm -hmm. more. And tell he, him exactly what to do with it. Yes. And he did it as he told him. Yes. So and it's a difference point. if he just started doing it any kind of way that right. he wanted to do it. Yes. And you know that's interesting. He trusted in God for every move. That's right. The children of Israel were mad at Moses, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. I don't know. i got to check with God. Mm -hmm. Moses, why are we brought in the wilderness? i got to check with him. Mm -hmm. His timing. Mm -hmm. And that's the message to us today. That's right. Wait on God. That's Trust right. Trust in God. So in closing, mm -hmm. you'd like to tell people at home in summary, whatever message God put on your heart to speak to them at home. Mm -hmm. And anything else you want to say about your book. Yes. So um, we just have to understand that even in life, we all will have trials, we all have things that come our way, and we just have to understand that 
with every test, we, you know, we definitely have to trust and believe in God. We have to understand that there's only one way out of every situation. There's only one way out of every test that you go through, no matter what it may be. If it's a health issue, if it's finance, if it's in your marriage. See, it's just not based off of one particular thing, but we go through many things in life along throughout our journey. And you just have to understand that you have to have the number one person that's gonna be with you throughout your journey. Yes. And that journey, which I consider life, yes. we got to have that one person that we can count on, that one person that's gonna deliver us from all things. Mm -hmm. Not some things, but all things. Mm -hmm. If you just trust and believe, the same way you trust when you went through that McDonald's line or mm -hmm. Burger King and you ordered that sandwich, you expected it to be just like you ordered it. All right. <laughs> it's gotta be the same way that you gotta trust and believe in your God. It's the same way that you have to say, God, did you said, if I just call out on you, you said you'll heal me if my if I'm in, you know, if I'm ill or I'm sick in my body. Your word said that you'll heal. Yes. If I'm looking for a miracle, you said if I'm hungry, you'll uh, even place it on someone else's heart to come. I trust and believe, God, that right now I'm looking at my cabinets and my cabinets is bare, but God, I'm trusting and believing that in a few minutes or in the next 24 to 48 hours, someone is gonna deliver everything in which I need. We just have to have that faith. And so individuals just, you know, the, the ultimate of the story is, I just wanna take you on a, 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 and through my journey, take you, walk with me. Yes. And just understand that throughout this journey, no one is perfect. Yes. And even if fear creeps up, I still trust and believe that I can put that fear on the back burner and know that my God is gonna come through for me. And so that's what I want people to understand is that God is real. Just as real as we talked about sitting in a chair, mm -hmm. God is just as real as that chair that's gonna hold you. Yeah. He'll hold you at any time, when, no matter what you're going through, God is gonna be the one that's gonna take care of you through. <laughs> and so I say all that to say, you know, if you like to purchase the book, <laughs> Get in touch with you. That's right. And Get that in touch number. with me. Oh, and also you get www.trinabrown.net. Praise God. And another testimony. That's right. Another testimony of faith through experience, through action, to the glory of God. We thank you again, my dear friend, evangelist Trina R. Brown. <laughs> Amen. And we thank each one of you that decide to don't let this book stay on the shelf. It's going, it's so hot. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Don't let Praise it stay God. on the shelf. <laughs> it gonna, it, she already had to make some reorders. Praise That's God. right. So if you get too late and then say, well, she ain't got no more. It's your fault. You waited too long. <laughs> Praise God. But get there, contact her. We thank God for you today. The testing of my faith. The testing of your faith. Trust God. May heaven smile on you is our prayer.